Hey everybody, Rebecca, Re Rebecca Hope here. Sorry for that. I'm trying to get my camera right. Let's see who we can invite. When you come on, just say hi so I know who's on. And I'm gonna send out some invites. Hope y'all are doing good today. Abby and I are feeling much better today. Just exhausted. Stupid summer colds. I'm just trying to invite some people. Tonight I'm gonna do a really pretty green eye. To match my shirt because I have green eyes I thought that would look pretty so I'm gonna do some green but I'm gonna use that palette still because I just absolutely love it and I want y'all to be able to see the diversity in it you know and you can um, get it in the kudos this month at Rebecca Rebecca hope all right I'm almost done okay all right, let's see who's here. Hey, Abby. Hey, Leanna. Am I saying that right? Hey, Marley. Okay, excuse my face. We've been sick, so I'm uh, coming out of the sick cocoon this evening. And I wanted to do a quick tutorial using the spray foundation and my kabuki brush this time. I was watching Rhea and she did a different technique using the kabuki brush. And look how healthy my hair looks. Ooh, hey, Holly. I uh, cut off some more of the dead stuff that from before I started using the launch products and put some of their shine in it and stuff. Oh, it looks so pretty. Holly, you're the most important, right? <laughs> okay, so I already did my setting spray, my primer, and then my setting spray. And I did a little rose water for some moisture. <laughs> So I'm gonna go right in with my spray foundation and my color is chiffon, that's what it looks like. And basically it gives you, you wanna shake it up, it gives you an airbrushed look. So it looks like you airbrushed your face. I don't know if you've seen the commercials where it's like perfect, but I'm gonna use our Kabuki brush and you wanna get really close to it. You just start putting it on. And it's nice and cool because it comes out of that aerosol can. Oh, it feels so good. I could probably go a shade lighter, but I wasn't sure how tan I'd get this summer. So we got six on tonight. Okay, so I'm just putting on our spray foundation. This is my favorite. Everybody, I'm sure, you know, finds their own favorite. This happens to be mine. I love how it goes on. It's such a beautiful coverage it makes you have that like porcelain doll skin which is what I like I don't like that cakey look I like it to look like just beautiful skin and not like I'm wearing a bunch of makeup alrighty so I'm just throwing that on I'll get to it with my bending blending buds I can't speak today I think my um my tongue is still in bed. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use our foundation stick to do my eyes. This, I absolutely love this. I know I've told y'all between the um, concealer and this, I absolutely love the stick. And I'm gonna be using a green color today to kind of go with my outfit, which I kind of threw together. These are my 1110 leather earrings that I absolutely love. So I get size large, if y'all are wondering, because there's a couple sizes on there. I get size large. And all their stuff is so lightweight, but super cute. Like there's, I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of like grabs color as you turn it. It's really cute. Anyways, I love their stuff. I hope I get some more for my birthday. Holly, Lisa, <laughs> Abby. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to blend this. And I use the blending bud because it blends a lot better than just using a brush. It kind of like pushes it into your skin and makes it look flawless. And our 
blending buds, since I can't speak today, you want to come down like in a triangle. Our blending buds are made out of a different material than the ones that you would get on the counter at the store. So those are kind of like a spongy material and ours are almost like a wetsuit material. So that's the difference. And they just make everything look flawless. So I'm gonna use my bigger blending bud. I'm gonna put a little bit more foundation on it. And I forgot to wet these, so these are dry today. But you're just gonna push this in everywhere you put foundation. And it just makes it look so beautiful. Soft, looks gorgeous. Look how pretty. I love how that looks. I can't, my tongue isn't working. I think it's frozen. This is on right now, Aunt Sherry. I am live. All right, so I'm just gonna make sure that this is good before I move to the baking. Because after I bake it, it stays. Okay, so baking is when you take a flat bud like this. You can get these at Walgreens. And you spray it with a little bit of setting spray. Then you take your... It's unique. Then you take your um, translucent setting powder. They reformulated a lot of their stuff, Elizabeth. Um... I couldn't wear their stuff before, but they've changed everything now, and I can actually wear their stuff again, which is nice. So, like the little fibers used to fall out of the mascara and stuff, that doesn't happen anymore. It's awesome stuff. Okay, and you just want to put this anywhere that, you know, you feel like sometimes your makeup doesn't really stay that great. Um, maybe some extra oily zones, like your T-zone. You just want to put this on. This is called baking when you put it on with the bud. If you're not a super oily person, you can also put it on with a brush. But since I'm so oily, like so much of the time, I bake it. Okay, so you just let that sit. And the longer you let it sit, the more the heat from your body um, heats it up and gets it in there. And allows it to adhere to your foundation and really holds everything in place to give you that flawless look. Look how pretty and soft. Okay, so then you're gonna take a little fan brush. Mine happens to be a mermaid brush, because I'm extra. And you're just gonna fan off anything that's left over. Alrighty, and then I am going to use a little bit of contouring today. I don't love contouring, but I don't mind just a little tiny bit under my powder. So I'm going to put this under my pressed powder. So this one's called Twill. And you want to go from the top of your ear down towards your mouth. Under your jaw here. Hey, Jackie. We're contouring a little. So up towards your ear, down towards your mouth. And then you want to go in a like circular motion around your forehead. And it just gives you like that sun kiss look. And I do it under my powder because I don't like it to be super bright. So the next thing I'm going to use is my pressed powder. And I can actually afford to go a shade lighter in this. I'm gonna, or I ordered it in a shade lighter. But this one is Jacquard. That's our pressed powder. So you're going to use a big kabuki brush. You can get them the big ones like that anywhere. Sephora or whatever. And then I'm just going to put this everywhere. And I'm going to kind of cover up some of this contouring a little bit little bit hey Lisa you can see how I'm starting to get like that little sun-kissed glow instead of being white all right and that's most of the face stuff so I'm going to move on now to blush and I have this little color called surreal and it comes in a little compact it's like the purpliest color I could find because I really love purple. Let me use my towel here and get some of this off my brush. Okay. 
So you want to dip it on here and then go in your mirror. It spreads out all your bristles and gets it in there evenly. So you don't end up with just like a big clump of the color. You just want to go up from your apple up. I know it's my favorite. And of course, you know, I love purple. So everybody that knows me knows that. All right, so that's blush. And then tonight I'm going to use the Addiction palette, the one that comes in the kudos. And I'm gonna mix it with a green color that I bought called Zazzy. So I am going to use, um, first I'm gonna use this second color here, the lightest color, and that's just for a base. And what that does is it helps you to just get a base on your eye so that when you go to do your eyeshadow, it really stands out. Thank you, Lisa. I, I uh, cut some more of the dead stuff from before off. The um, lounge stuff is really taking care of my hair, but the, the dead stuff from before is just still coming off. I didn't want to shave my head, so I'm slowly doing it and taking my hair vitamins. Okay, so now that that one's done, I'm gonna go in with this color right here. It's called Blazing. It's like a brown color. No, okay, that's like a reddish color. I'm not gonna do that one. I'm gonna do Audacious, this one. Okay, I think that'd be better for this. Okay, so you wanna do a circle and then bring it, a rainbow. Everybody does this part a little bit different. But in general, it's a circle and then a rainbow. And then you can always take your middle finger, this is what I do, and I just kind of like blend it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other side. In a circle and then a rainbow. And I just love this color for like a neutrally brown color. You can mix it with so many things to make it look cool. You can mix it with any of these rose golds in this palette. Oh yeah, and then I think that green is gonna be gorgeous in there. Okay, so these are the colors. Look how pretty. That's in the kudos for this month. It's the only way you can get it. So, this one is brown, but I'm gonna go with green next. Oh yeah, I like that so far. Okay, so the green that I'm gonna go in with, which on the on the lid, you can see where I left the spot, is called Zazzy, Z-A-Z-Z-Y. And it's this one right here. I don't know if you can see that it's green, but it is. Okay. Let me find my brush. Let's see how this looks. Oh yeah, for my hazel eyes, this is like a perfect combination for me. Ooh, I love this look. So with any kind of camouflage, this would look gorgeous because it's got that green in it. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. It's got a little shimmer to it. I really like it. Oh yeah, look at that. I love that green, that's so pretty. Alrighty, and I'm gonna go back to my eyebrow now right below my eyebrow I always do the lightest color so I'm gonna go back with the second color I'm just gonna do right up here and that just highlights your brow and your pretty eyebrows oh yeah I like that all right and then I'm gonna go in with a cool little looking brush it's flat and I'm gonna pick up the brown that I used. I'm just gonna put a little bit under here. Ooh, got myself right in my eyeball. Do a little bit of the brown. And then I'm gonna go, I got a new green liner that I wanna use. So this one is called Prosperous. And this is the color. So I thought that would look pretty with this. Let's see what it looks like. Add to this brown here. Oh 
Oh yeah, I'm liking that. What do y'all think? I like the greens. Let's put this up here and see if it brings out that green even more. Oh yeah, I like that. Do you see it that it's green, y'all? I like that. Looks pretty. Do it to this one. So I'm not gonna do my cat eyes today. Today I'm just gonna do this green because I thought it would look really pretty with that eyeshadow. I don't know if y'all saw, but we launched a new um, mascara today. I'm like dying to get my hands on it. Hey, Charlene. We're doing a green and brown eye today for my hazel eyes. Thank you. I love the green too. Like I said, with my hazel eyes, it looks pretty cool. Of course, you know, you can wear it with any color eyes, but brown, browns and greens bring my hazel eyes out. Thank you, Abby. Okay, so um, I'm going to spray my face next. So you wanna go in with your setting spray before you do your eyelashes. That kind of preps them and gets them ready. So you wanna make sure you get all the places on your face and let that dry. And usually before I spray, I didn't do it this time, I go back under here with this one and this helps to pick up any eyeshadow that fell out, anything loose to really make it look perfect. Cause you know, sometimes when you're putting your eyeshadow on, it kind of falls down. Is the liner a dark green? Yes. I will draw it on my hand and then that way you can see it. I bought a purple liner too. So I thought I would do that another day, but this is what it looks like. Do you see that it's green? There it is. That's what color. It's like a forest green. All right, and I'm gonna put some, um, Holly, you wanna put the link for the 1110 leather? I'm gonna put a primer on my eyelashes. Anyways, our new mascara comes with two brushes in it. It's called Twisted, and it's it's um, for sale today. And it has two brushes. It has this tiny little brush and then a much longer fuller brush. So you can really get those tiny little eyelashes. Sometimes they get left behind by a big brush and really kind of, you know, push them up with that little brush and then go back over them with the big one. There it is, right there. That's for the earrings. So if y'all haven't seen the Twisted um, mascara, you know, I'm trying to sell five this week. So now would be a great time to go get that. Okay, I got a new lippy called Serendipitous. It's one of those ones where you can see through it and you can see it's kind of a little purpley color, I hope. Because I was trying to find anything purple on our site. Oh, yes. Okay, this is going to be a staple for me. And this is a stain. So it lasts most of the day which is awesome. You don't have to keep reapplying all the time. Ah. Thank you. Serendipitous. It's one of the lip stains. Stiff upper lips, lip stain. I'm really loving the lip stains because, um, you know, it's not like it lasts through eating all day or anything, but it lasts a long time. Yours lasts all through eating and everything. Wow, that's awesome. This time I did them on like really raw lips. Like I wear chapstick a lot or like a lip gloss, but today I did the scrub on my lips. So maybe it'll stay better, but I did wear it yesterday just for fun and it stuck. Okay. I'm going in with my 40 mascara, which they redid the fibers so that they don't fall everywhere because that was my concern way back was that the little thingies fell out everywhere and would go in my eye and then my eye would be bugged all day I feel like there were sticks in there wow that's crazy Tiana that's awesome 
I love stuff that stays really good. I'm just gonna do a little bit on the bottom here. And I try, I'm excited to try our eyelash serum to see if it can get these bigger ones longer. Because my bottom ones are pretty good, but my top ones, they wanna grow down at an angle, so I have to shove them up. And they don't like to cooperate, and one of them grows in a V, so all the lashes grow towards each other. It's this one right here. But that's where the primer came in. See how much it separated them? They're usually all clumped in a V. So you just wanna blink hard on it. What do y'all think? Um, it can, girl, I can, I can help you. Not a problem. You have to be not afraid to get that eyeshadow on. So it's kind of scary when you first start about the eyeshadow, like get in the dark and all that kind of stuff. But if you get a little bit too much on, um, the best thing that you can do for it is a Q-tip. Anytime you get makeup down here, you know, maybe your um, mascara gets a little drop. You can see it right there. Um, anytime that happens, a Q-tip gets it right off. Or this. These are great for it too. But a Q-tip will clean up any of your makeup. So don't be afraid. And when you're starting off with a dark color, just get a little bit at a time. You can always build on it. It's, it's easier than trying to take it off. But you can take it off. So that is my look for today. Serendipitous is the lip gloss. Oh, that's a brush. Hold on. Serendipitous is the lip gloss. And I used my Addiction palette number six that comes in the kudos this month. The rose golds and the browns. You can mix these so many different ways. So I've been trying to show you all different ways you can use it. Um, I'm doing a giveaway for a lip gloss. It was the one I had on the other day when I had the hat on. That's like that um, metallic pinky purple the splash. I'm going to give one of those away um, after five people order. It can just be mascara or it can be a full order. The first five people who order this week will go into a drawing for that. And then um, I'm going to give a mascara away too. I have a 4D mascara and I'm trying to decide what I want to do to give that away because I was going to do it if you ordered a mascara, but that doesn't make sense. So maybe if you order, but you didn't order a mascara, then you can pick the mascara. And if you order a mascara, you can pick the lip gloss. Okay. That sounds right. That sounds good. So I'll do it that way. And you can always visit my website at RebeccaHopeBeauty.com. That takes you to my unique page to shop. And I'm also on Instagram under Rebecca Hope F because Rebecca Hope was taken. And then I'm on YouTube as well under Rebecca Hope. So if y'all have any questions at all about anything um, makeup related, feel free to ask. This is my look. I think it looks pretty good. Still not a hundred percent on the contour but I guess it does slim up my face or how I keep my hair blonde I can tell you that too anyways y'all have a great night hopefully by tomorrow we'll be feeling a hundred percent around here and I will be looking for some people to promote if y'all run a small business and you want me to promote your business please let me know I'm happy to so just get with me message me but y'all have a great night thank you for hanging out with me bye